This tested my openers in no excuses. And here for some good gym. Um, I like it there. It's really quiet and nice people. So anyway, I slept like shit this night. I woke up like maybe 10 times. It was terrible and my throat was so fucked up. And yesterday I only had two meals. One of them was McDonald's, so not the best day nutrition wise, um, but I wasn't home. So McDonald's it is, if you want to get in like, I only had breakfast and then it was like eight in the evening and I was like, shit, I'd still need to eat more. So I went to McDonald's and easy calories, you know? Anyway, I did a 122 and a half squat, uh, which is two and a half kg above my previous competition opener. So that's good. It moved good. I really um, watched my depth and my depth is okay there. So I'm happy with how that moved. For bench, I went for 95 kg. I started with 90 kg, moved really good. And then I went for 95. I felt a little bit off. I didn't have like a lot of tension in my body. Um, and my butt came off the bench and the, voila. excuses, excuses, excuses. Anyway, it didn't move like expected, it felt heavy, but I know that on the competition day it will move better. I just know from experience because for some reason 95 sometimes feel heavy and in competition it, it moves. So, but yeah, we can change the opener in the competition itself. Now for deadlift I did 190 kg and considering the fact I did 205 kg like two days ago, like Saturday morning, it's Monday morning now, 190 moved really good. So I'm going to open with 190. Conclusion of this story. I slept like shit, I ate like shit yesterday, but the openers moved 122 and a half, 95 and 190. And those are all above my previous competition opener. So I'm happy with the progress there. And I'm like really excited to see what is going to happen on the competition day. Let's make the best out of it. Today I had, I had work planned uh, for in the evening, but the gyms are closed at five now in the Netherlands. So I can do my personal training work now, which is kind of fucked up because I'm losing clients of that. Um, so I need to make the best out of the situation right now. And I'm trying to reschedule all my clients for in the morning or the afternoon, but it's hard because people are just at work. Um, so I'm trying to make the best out of it. I have one personal training session in like an hour. So I'm going home, eat something and get in that personal training session. Let's go. We gaan een taste test doen. Kom hier. Ja, het stinkt. Cookie? <laughs> ja, het stinkt fucking erg. <laughs> Doe maar in je mond doen. Gaffer. Niet lekker? Nee. Oh. How much out of ten? Zero. Zero out of ten. Oh, wow. Nice. It smells disgusting. This one. It tastes disgusting. Mm. The, the, the flavor is okay. I think when you eat it like dry, it's disgusting. But when you warm it up, heat it up for like 30 seconds in the microwave, it's okay. It's eatable. It's not that dry, so. But I. I mm, it's okay. Yeah, that's what I have to say about it. I'll give it like a 6 out of 10. Yeah. Okay, got a random meal. Made, some, made out of some leftovers. Tuna melt. Wrap here with some veggies. And chili sauce. So, yeah. Hallo? Doe eens even normaal. Ga eens weg. Mijn fucking ontbijt. Ga eens weg. Nee. Ga weg. Ga weg. Anyway, I've got my breakfast here. Chocolate, oatmeal, whey shake. And this one. And this one is really good. I think this is my favorite of Bang Energy. I would give it like eight and a half out of ten. And today is the last like heavy session. I have to do 97 half kg bench press doubles, which is a PR. So let's make the best out of that. Okay, this is a random meal, so don't judge me. But some veggies, 150 gram. Four rice cakes, but I already ate two, so six in total. Cheese, chicken, and a cat.
Braaf. And I've got a package over here. I've got some fresh smelling salts. I use it before a heavy lift, mostly deadlifts. I've got the whiskey smell here, never tried that. I've got the mental rush, I already got this one. And citrus shock. Ascended Lab sent me those. Um, and if you want to buy this as well, use discount code WORKBODYFIT for 10% off. And I'm gonna smell them and give them like a rating. So that's this one is amazing. It literally is a mental rush because it feels like your face is in like toothpaste. If that makes sense. It's just some cold smell. It's it's it's, it's it really gives you a shock. So that's about this one. I'm going to give it like 8 out of 10. I really like this one. Next to that, we're going to try the whiskey one. This one is new. So let's try it out. Oh, I'm scared. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh fucking hell. Ah, oh, I'm not even kidding. Ah. Oh. There are literally tears in my eyes. Ah. Oh. 11 minutes later. Oh fuck my life. Ah. Oh. Ah oh, fuck, it's not so bad. I'm crying over this. What the fuck? Okay, I think my um, my response said enough. I'm not gonna place it that close to my nose because holy fucking shit. What the fuck? I've never had such an intense smelling salt ever in my life. Holy fuck, I don't know if I like this or not. But um, if you need like a crazy ad adrenaline kick, this one. Holy shit, this is the most intense smelling salt I've ever had in my life. Damn. I'm gonna give my nose some rest and then I'm gonna smell this one. I'm not gonna do it right now. For Bicoma. <laughs> okay, it's a few hours later. Um, I just came home from my father's place. And now I think my nose can handle this again. Um, also, I let my father smell like the other, the whiskey smelling salts. And he was like, fuck. So that's funny. Um, but I'm going to try the citrus shock right now because my nose is able to handle this again. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, ah. okay, wait. Okay, yeah, that's better. I don't need to do this, but like this, it's okay. And um, oh, my eye, like I was here and my eyes felt weird. And then I smelled and I was like, um, I like this one. It smells like when you have like mosquitoes, um, you have those candles. It smells like mosquito candles. Um, and it's like really intense, like, and I think I like this. I prefer this one um, above the... Whiskey one, because the whiskey one is really fucking intense. Don't really like that much of intensity. Um, but my favorite is the menthol one. Whew, I'm glad that I didn't stick my nose right into this, because that would fucking fuck the shit out of me. Anyway, I'm happy with those. Yeah, okay, good night. What an exciting meal. This lightning sucks, but I've got some eggs with noodles and some spices and plenty of and some veggies like 300 grams. I'm really looking forward to eat normal again. God damn it. Okay, I wanted to end this video real quick because tomorrow morning I will be leaving to Sweden. I have to get out of my bed around like 6.30 in the morning. So that's going to be like that. Anyway, I just packed my bags and everything. And I just wanted to upload this video real quick. In the upcoming few days, I will be lifting on Monday. So um, in like five days. And the upcoming days I will be focusing on uh, getting enough rest. I will still do like two or one training. But focusing on getting in enough rest. Getting in the right nutrition. Enough sleep. And uh, make sure that I don't gain too much body weight. Or make sure to be underneath the 76 body weight. And I might do low carb for a few days. Manipulate something in my body weight to get the best out of it. Do you see that? Oh, that was weird as fuck. Oh, why is she watching me? This is fucking weird.
Go away. Voel ik er dus echt heel ongemakkelijk bij. Ja, dank je. Doei. Ga weg. Let's see what will happen uh, at the European Championship. And if you want to see more, just follow me on Instagram. And I will uh, post some things there. And keep you updated. So, thank you for watching. And have a nice life. Stay with me, little bitch. Yeah, you know that I'm going to be cattle in a snitch. No thoughts, no stand too hard.